With episode 9 currently being directed by both J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio helped out with the script, a lot of people are wondering exactly what will J.J. be doing in order to wrap up the entire sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, of course, we do have quite a bit of time before they actually end filming for Star Wars Episode 9. They are right on schedule for ending principal photography in, of course, February of 2019. Now, a lot of people have been wondering about the trailer for Star Wars Episode 9. This is a big discussion right now on exactly when can we expect to see this thing released? Is it going to be released during the Super Bowl? Is it going to be released during Star Wars Celebration? Most likely, right? or is it going to be released somewhere in between then? Now, looking at everything here, what's really exciting is that a lot of trailer production agencies out there are going to begin working on the official Star Wars Episode 9 teaser slash trailer in just two weeks from now by working with the footage that they will have actually provided by Disney and Lucasfilm for Star Wars Episode 9. Now, what does this mean? Now, this could also hint that we actually could be getting our first look at some Star Wars Episode 9 footage for the very beginning of 2019. Why else would they be working on a trailer in December if we wouldn't be getting any footage until April of 2019? It just doesn't make sense to me. And also, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but John Williams will also be composing his own track dedicated to the Star Wars Episode 9 Star Wars actual teaser slash trailer. So, with that being said, he's going to be working on that in December as well. Thankfully, you know, John Williams is all better right now. I don't know if you guys got the update, but a couple of weeks ago, he had an illness. He was in the hospital. He wasn't doing too well, and then he was all good and better. So, that's great news. I am so happy the fact that he is back on board for Star Wars Episode 9. And by the way, I don't know if you guys heard, but he made an amazing score, an amazing track for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Go ahead and check it out. As far as Episode 9 goes, a lot of these trailer production agencies, what they usually do is they make multiple versions of teasers slash trailers for a specific movie. Usually the director or the assistant director or anybody associated with the actual movie itself Itself, mostly the director like J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson, etc. They come in, they examine the footage, and they decide which trailer best suits the audience and which trailer doesn't give too much away or which trailer can kind of hint at certain things that'll actually bring up the hype for the movie. So they test all these things out and what they're going to do, of course, over you know the weeks within December and I'm guessing in January maybe even February is they're gonna make numerous teasers and trailers and kind of pick ones out and kind of just leave it all down to one and that's the one that will be released on either the Super Bowl or Star Wars Celebration or somewhere in between there so nonetheless what's really exciting is that not only is episode 9 getting closer to the end of principal photography which by the way is the end of filming but the actual trailer will be worked on this December of 2018. And that just tells us how much footage they have shot so far. Now, now, in case you guys haven't been following this, they actually shot footage since August 1st of 2018. So they've gone all the way through August, September, October. We're pretty much, you know, more than halfway through November now. So that's almost four months worth of footage that they will be working with for Star Wars Episode 9. And by the time they begin working on this, that's four months and change. So that's a lot of footage ranging from Acts 1, 2, and 3, where we will see bits of the beginning, middle, and end of Episode 9. Now, let's hope that they don't give too much away like how they did with The Last Jedi. I feel like that with The Last Jedi, especially with the TV spots, they gave away way too much. I feel like that they should have saved the Snoke throne room scene the sequence in which we do see Rey holding the cross guard lightsaber because that kind of like confused a lot of people, right? We thought it was going to be this major thing that she was going to be fighting with the cross guard lightsaber and it ended up that she was just going to hold it for about five seconds and kind of run towards Snoke and just drop it. 
So, you know, that was kind of like a uh, gotcha moment. But anyways, guys, I would really love to hear your opinion about all this below in the comments. I could not be more curious as to exactly what JJ is going to be doing with episode nine. If you guys did not catch that scene leak just yesterday, we went over that on how Rey actually does have a blue lightsaber in Star Wars episode nine on this mysterious desert world that she is on there with both Chewbacca, Finn, and Poe. Something is happening there. I believe it's Jakku, Jetta, Tatooine, or a new desert planet. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>